Hey, hey, how in the world is everybody today? Happy Saturday. Can you believe we made it to Saturday? Oh my word. <laughs> OMG. So today is a fantastic, amazing day. Why? Because guess what? The new fall winter Sensi catalog released just this morning. So I don't know. I got so excited. I wet my plants, people. I wet my plants. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that you are excited for what's about to go down today because this is some kind of exciting. So let's take a hot minute. Let's take a hot minute to be like, hey, how are you doing? Let's see all the things. And um, let's see if we can get into spreading the love of this onto my page and then we can chit chat. So feel free to stop in, say hello, even if it's for like two minutes and let's go from there. So let's take a hot minute to be like, hey, how you doing? Let's hang out um, and go about that. So anyways, who here is excited for what is in store for the 2020 season of, um, of what is going to go down. Hello, Erin. How you doing, girl? How you doing? Happy Saturday to you, girl. So anyways, I pinned this comment below because, oh my goodness, like I said, you're going to wet your plants. This is exciting. This is exciting. I don't know about you, but like when I think of fall, winter, I know we are in the throes of August, my friends. I know these are dangerous words. It's okay. It's okay. But Every time I think, oh my goodness, that, like how do we top the previous season? It just gets better and better and better. So I'm going to send you a wave, girl. Wave! <laughs> Come on, do it with me. Woo! That's right. Ripple effect. Let's make a ripple effect. Um, so today I'm going to focus just strictly on the new releases. But um, before I do that, I want to mention the Whiff Box, okay? Um, the Whiff Box just launched again this month. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this first is because the Whiff Box is going to be while supplies last. So as long as you see it on my website is as long as it's available but once it is sold out you will be marked sold out and you will not be able to um snag it till the following month so if you were like somebody like myself or somebody or whoever okay if you are somebody who likes to try a whole bunch of different things in one little box then why the heck not you doing the wave thank you girl thank you um then this is great okay so the whiff box is a great way a to surprise somebody whether it's yourself or whether it is for a gift okay it already comes in the dang box my friends it already it takes the guesswork all you literally do is gotta put a bow on it mm. that's right just take a bow on it and be like happy birthday <laughs> okay um so the Whiff Box is really cool. It's a great way for you to explore new things, explore new scents, try new products you've never tried. Um, the best part is it's like a surprise every month, okay? A surprise every single month. Um, so it literally takes the gas work out of it. You literally like put it in your cart and done, okay? Um, another way too, okay, is what happens is it usually is filled with between like five to eight different products. Hello, Danielle. It's filled with usually between five to eight different products, um, in the box, which really makes it cool. Okay. Sometimes it has new stuff. Sometimes it has whatever's trending at the moment. Um, sometimes it's going to even have some seasonal product in it. Okay. Um, it's always a surprise, which is great and amazing. Okay, sometimes you are going to sometimes get a variety of different samples in there, full size product, and that literally can range from anywhere for something for your body. Yes, you can smell like Scentsy too. Um, you can get it from our cleaning products. That's right. Why not make something that's mundane and boring and wah wah? Why not make it more exciting, right? Um, as well as um, laundry. <laughs> yeah, your clothes can smell like like Scentsy too. Oh my goodness, like it just excites my soul. Okay. Um, and literally the best part about it, other than being surprised and other than getting to try out different things is that at the end of the day, it's actually going to be cheaper in the long run than if, if you were purchasing every single thing separately. Um, so the Scentsy Whiff Box can be found on my website. So, um, I don't know if you noticed it down there, uh, but I pinned the comment down below there. So if you want to do some window shopping, if, um, whatever floats your boat, okay. Um, that's a great way to try things. If you have never tried Scentsy before, what a great way to consider doing something like that for yourself. Um, just as kind of like a surprise, like who doesn't like a good surprise? You have to refill your coffee. Okay. I'll let you recaffeinate because I get it. The struggle is real. I get it. Okay, Aaron, don't mind. We're just going to be like, do, 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 do. <laughs> that's right. You feel pressured yet? <laughs> Get your coffee. Somebody tell Aaron, run. 
So anyways, that, my friends, is the Whiff Box. The Whiff Box is cute because it comes kind of like in the same idea. So this kind of gives you an idea. Um, I love it because literally, like I said, it comes with lots of different things in there. Like I said, five to eight different products. So samples, you name it. So um, your Whiff Box may not look exactly like this and that's okay. But it literally, like they say, is made with love. Um, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. I love it. So next up, let's talk about the new releases, okay? So today we're going to focus solely on the new releases because I don't know about you, but who here is like me and like when a new store opens or a new something, you're like, I'm running for the store. Yeah, who, who does that? I know I do. Uh, maybe not on the first day, but you know what I mean? Like when well, something's new, everybody's like, let's line up. We all turn into the Ikea lady. We're like, get the car. That's right. You know it. But this, this is like, get the wax. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So let's talk about some of the new releases we have. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We got a, we, whew, we got a lot. We got a lot in here. Um, we got a good little handful of new releases here. So um, let's talk about them, okay? So the first, let's see here. I think this is the first one. Yeah, so the new releases, okay, and I'm going to tell you, our new releases are available um, not just in wax, but they are available um, in room sprays and scent circles, which is really great. So your scent circle, like I mentioned, I don't know if you heard me talk about it, maybe it was yesterday. Um, scent circles can go in your closet, they can go... Um, in your car, anywhere where it can hang freely. Like I said, you want to make sure it doesn't go somewhere where it's going to go flat uh, because otherwise what happens is the oils that are within those, they will ruin the interior of your car if you lay it flat, okay? So you always want to make sure it is somewhere where it can hang freely. So let's talk about the first new release because, you know, new releases are exciting. New things are exciting, right? And like I said, this catalog season is redonka donk. It's amazing. So let's talk about the first one. Now I am waiting on my testers to arrive to me. I'm waiting for my catalogs to arrive on me. But in the meantime, we can talk about all the deliciousness. So I do not have these um, to sniff in front of you, which is really too bad because I'm dying to get my hands on them. But you know what? In the way the world is right now, things are just taking a little longer. So if you love your Scentsy, just be patient, okay? Because they are doing everything on their end to try and make sure that everything flows as it should. Um, I'm doing everything on my end to try and ensure that everybody gets their goodies, okay? So at the end of the day, we just have to be patient because things are just taking a little longer. But that's okay. Good things are worth waiting for, okay? So, Erin, are you back yet? <laughs> so anyways, let's talk about the first one, okay? So the first one, you want to make sure that when you are getting a Scentsy bar, it's going to come just like this, okay? Now, this is not the color of the scent I'm going to show you because I don't have those scents on me. But this is what a Scentsy bar looks like, okay? It comes with eight different cubes. Um, usually on the average basis, usually most people use one, sometimes two um, cubes, uh, sorry, yeah, cubes of wax, um, depending what warmer. If you're looking at a bigger warmer, typically two. Uh, I find that if I'm using a mini warmer, like in my bathroom, something like that, I find one is more than enough. Okay. You're lucky we held off, girlfriend. You're lucky. You lucky. <laughs> you lucky. I love you, Erin. Okay. So that's a good thing to remember. Um, each cube of wax is going to yield you usually roughly between eight to 10 hours. So literally you can get up to like 80 hours worth of wax out of here, depending on how often and how, uh, how much you use at one time. Okay. Can, so that number can vary. So let's talk about the first one here. The first one here that is a new release is called Almond Croissant. Okay, almond croissant, and I might botch this. I'm really sorry. Okay, so almond croissant is a considered and explained as being a fresh baked croissant, is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Okay, or almond. I don't even know. I, I tell you, I'm very lucky. You love me. Heck yeah, you're very lucky. <laughs> Wouldn't just do it for anybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aaron and I know each other. We're allowed to banter back and forth. Okay, so almond croissant, like I said, a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. So I don't know if you're going to notice, but a lot of things um, when it comes to fall are more pumpkin infused, more like vanilla, more spicy. You know what I mean? Like cinnamon, like a lot of things that make you think of fall are kind of in there. So they have a lot of that influence. So if you like, um, I would consider that more of like a bakery type scent. So if you really like bakery scents, then that's going to be the one that you might be like, yeah, I need that. Um, the next one after that is called breakfast in bed. <laughs> yeah. When was the last time I ever did that? <sighs> Don't even remember. 
don't even remember though I think on Mother's Day my son brought me hot chocolate to bed so I mean he tried right um so the next one's called breakfast in bed that's the other new Scentsy bar um what it is considered to be this is its description wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with a sweet sweet cinnamon drizzle OMG. So you have like that fall pumpkin pastry wafting. You have that black raspberry to give it some depth. Um, and then you have sweet cinnamon drizzle. That sounds like something heavenly that like I want tomorrow. <laughs> so that sounds really super yummy. Um, I would consider it kind of like a spicy bakery scent. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I said, as soon as I get my testers in, I will be doing the whole sniff test with you. That way you can kind of live vicariously through me and go from there. Uh, next scent we have is called Apples and Oats. I don't know about you guys, but that just makes me think of like breakfast, like breakfast porridge, right? Um, and this is what I love about scent. I don't know if you guys know, but scent evokes memory for a lot of people. So I don't know about you, but I know that sometimes I will smell um, like a scent and it'll make me think of something my grandmother used to make when I was a kid or maybe something my mom makes, you know, on a regular thing that she's known for. Okay, that kind of thing. So apples and oats is considered and described as rich, buttery oats caramelized apple and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farmhouse kitchen that just makes me think of like my grandmother when she used to make something called plots i don't know my german my my german throwing okay my background is german um it makes me think of my grandmother when she used to roll out and use the whole entire like kitchen table and she used to make something called plots which is basically like a pie but it's flat it's about maybe that high and it has filling so it's kind of like um kind of like when you make like a cookie type cake or something like that but this is pie it's like pie but it's called plots yeah it's right so I don't know Erin you might be familiar with plots I don't know but when I think of apples and oats I think of those yummy things I think of my grandmother with the cinnamon and and the um the um dough and just like you know like kneading across the table like no wonder women had muscles back then okay so rich buttery oats caramelized apple and warm hints of cinnamon back and straight from our farmhouse kitchen I'm hoping in my brain what I'm thinking of I envision like have you ever had a baked apple a baked apple like where you like kind of bake it in the um, microwave and then you take it out and then you drizzle it with like brown sugar that's what it makes me think of but um I'm not but I want to be pie that is like cake I'm in well it's not it doesn't have a cake consistency at all it tastes like a pie um I don't even think I have a picture of it Erin but if I ever see a picture of what plots looks like I will totally I, I think if you like pie you'd like plots because it's the same concept but on a flatter scale it's not like done in an eight inch tray it's done in like a cookie sheet flat so um you grew up with baked apples me too that was like a treat that was like a treat like I'd be like if I knew my mom was making a baked apple in the microwave I was like dang I don't know if I have a recipe for plots but I will I will find something on google for you um, next we have something called Cloudberry Dreams. Okay, Cloudberry Dreams is described as sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. I don't know what that sounds like to you, but that bar sounds like it had me at hello. <laughs> that to me is what that um, sounds like it could potentially smell like. I'm all over that. Like I said, I cannot wait till I get my testers. And like I said, things are a little bit slower right now. Um, just because of the whole pandemic. Hello. Good morning. Oh, it's not good morning, but it's still kind of good morning. Hello, Leah. How are you? Um, so um, that's what that's all about. Um, what else? What else? So next we have something that I think might be up your alley, Erin. It's called Around the Campfire. Um, hello. How many of us think of cooler weather and hoodies and all those good, amazing things, right? Um, so Around the Campfire is described as make some memories in the mountain air. Hello. We all know what camping like in the fall is like, like you walk out and you're like, right? But that's what makes the experience. Um, so make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene if that does not make you thinking of like dew on the grass in the morning and like your hoodie smells like campfire like to me that that's what that invokes in my brain that's what that makes me think of 
I hope that it smells exactly like my memory is hoping it will. I don't know, but if that's the kind of thing. And this is what I like around the campfire. Is that the one you're thinking of, Erin? And I should mention to you guys, this catalog launched today. So um, since it launched today, it means that anything that I'm telling you about right now, you can literally go and shop the site and like snag it for yourself today if you wanted. Okay, no pressure to. Um, I'm just sharing what I know. You should have an only. Heck yeah, girl, you let me know. I You let me know. In fact, you and me, we're going to chat after this live and we will talk. We will talk and we will set a date and we will have all the fun. Now, you guys should all be cool like my friend Erin and you guys should all host your online um like scent scent bash i think it would be so much fun campfire all the campfires since bonfire beach i know so many people like bonfire beach um and so this is just kind of like one of those like it just makes me think of a cooler morning with your tin cup you guys all know that camping was not camping unless you had like a tin cup and like you the, the plates you know like the tin plates oh I mean, we didn't go camping a ton when I was a kid. We did um, until we did the whole cottage thing and like rented a cottage type of thing. But um, we did camping a few times as a kid and, and it was fun. But I, you know what? I haven't done it since I was like nine years old. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, you know, <laughs> like a camp a touch for the very first time. <laughs> Touched by the experience that nature has to hold. <laughs> okay. Um. So what's around the next one? So the next one is called, um, so if campfires are your thing then campfires are your thing well like i said if you want to find a way to earn yourself some free stuff earn yourself stuff maybe that's not even necessarily free but earn yourself some half priced products then um hosting yourself a um like a scent soiree would be a great way to um to be able to do that the best part is that we can totally do this online so that way everybody can social distance everybody can um not have to worry about anything you have the percolator too oh my gosh yes percolated coffee i know you had to really work for percolated coffee but dang that stuff was good <laughs> that stuff was good and that's long before i was even into coffee now i'm like oh, I'm surprised my first name isn't coffee and my middle name's Bean. Like, I'm really surprised. I'm <laughs> really surprised. Um, so, yeah, if you want a way to snag yourself some, some Scentsy at either a reduced cost or, heck, even free, then let's get you a scent soiree set up. Like I said, it completely can be done online. Um, if you're somebody who's like, oh, I don't know how much interest I get in that, we can totally set you up. You can actually keep a um scent soiree open up to 90 days believe it or not so if you're somebody who's like things just kind of take time in my world in my circle of friends that's okay nothing better than a dewy morning around the campfire heck yeah perked coffee oh i know it takes like an hour i know we have friends that have i think it's called a french press or something oh my word they're like i know it takes forever but it's so good so good. So let's talk about the next one. Okay, so the next scent is called Dancing Sugar Plums. Like I said, Scentsy Bar comes like this. Um, so Dancing Sugar Plums is considered and described as rich spiced plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. I don't know about you, but that to me, for me personally, smells like every shade of yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Um, the funny thing is I'm not usually a big cinnamon fan because what put it this way okay um what i might love you might be like Ugh, and that's okay okay that's why they have so many different categories of scent that's why they have stuff that's like in the spice category in the woodsy category they have stuff in the floral category the bakery category um because i love bakery scents Yet some people I know might be like, Ugh. you know, everybody loves something different and that's perfectly okay. Okay. What I might love, you might hate vice versa. And that's okay. That's why they give us so many different scent categories because they understand that, um, a floral person, which I'm really not, uh, might love bakery, but the person who loves bakery might not like that, but they like a woodsy scent. Um, so whatever it is, okay. Scentsy is great because, um, like I said, it is literally, you're heating it with a light bulb. Okay. It is warmed. It is warm. So you don't have to worry about a flame. You don't have to worry about, um, your kids getting scalded by it. This is what I love. Cause guess what? I am a mom. I'm a mom of a nine year old. And even when they're nine, 
they still get klutzy. They still knock things over. But I want to make sure that even when I have this, not only is my home going to smell good, but that my safety of whoever is in the house um, is, is a baked apple pie. Oh, I bet. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? I'm like, I'm not a big cinnamon fan. And that's the thing. What's fall? What makes you think of fall right away? Cinnamon and pumpkin. I love pumpkin, but I'm kind of particular about the pumpkin scents I try. However, what I will say too, and this is a good rule that I need to implement for myself, is that sometimes what happens is sometimes we automatically smell a bar or a, or a scent and we go, eh, I don't like it. Okay. So chances are maybe sometimes we don't like it when it is just kind of like, you know, cooled down like this. But the nice part about each and every scentsy bar is that there is going to be a top note a mid note and a base note okay so the top note is the thing that you're going to smell very first thing okay like when you smell it right that's going to be your top note your mid note is going to be what you smell once it's warm so it sometimes for some people they might smell something and be like eh but yet the one that starts warming they're like I kind of dig that okay that's what a mid note so the mid note is going to be the fragrance that you're going to get once it's warmed what that will give you a real depth of of a scent so then the base note okay because this is kind of how it is it's kind of like a layered thing um so then the base note is the scent that's always going to stay and will always kind of be the theme of that bar so if you have a lot of fall things that are um cinnamon infused you're always going to smell that cinnamon but you're also going to smell many layers okay so that's the great thing it is it is so different when you warm it um, so that's what I'm going to challenge myself to do this season. I'm going to challenge my thing self to try different things that maybe on the first scent like this. Okay. I might be like, eh, but maybe warmed. I might like it completely different. So that's what I'm challenging myself to do different this season. What are you going to challenge yourself to do that's different this, uh, since fall season? I'm just curious. I'm just curious, but that's how I'm going to do it. And Erin, you better keep me accountable. Um, so next we have, okay. Next, we have um, one called Autumn Road Trip, okay? So Autumn Road Trip is our newest next one as well. And what it is described as, it says, take a tour through crisp harvest. Hello, Anita. Good morning. Take a tour through crisp harvest apple. Just picked Anjou pear and a forest of towering silver oak. I don't know about you. I'm kind of strange this way. I don't like all woodsy scents. However, anything to do with like evergreens or pine trees I'm like you had me at hello I like tree e scents <laughs> I don't even think tree e is a word what is that bar that you have there um well this isn't a bar that's available anymore this is part of um this is part of um the uh spring summer this was chili mango but it's not available anymore mm, yeah so I know it's orange I it was literally the one I had beside me <laughs> um so if you like the, that sounds like something fun. That sounds like something I would warm. Why? Because it has like that woodsy feel. It has the apple. It has the Anjou. Anjou. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I guess this is where my French in life could have really paid off. Uh, so take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear and a forest of towering silver oak. So you've got that like, you know what that makes me think of? It makes me think of something that is on my bucket list in life. Oh, I know. Doesn't it sound like spicy? Darling, meow, meow, darling, meow. <laughs> Every time I say that, my son's like, mom, who says meow? And I'm like, your mother don't judge. <laughs> I swear sometimes he looks at me and he's like, I don't know you. And I'm like, then I'm doing my job in life. I five. You're embarrassed. I'm not. This is embarrassing you. <laughs> Anybody who's ever seen the movie The Holiday, that's like my favorite. And that is my favorite scene ever. So what I think about when I hear the description of Autumn Road Trip, I think of something, like I said, that's been on my bucket list forever. And it is going to Vermont in the fall. Don't ask me why. Actually, do ask me why. The reason Vermont of any state um, 
that appeals to me most is for those of you, and I'm going to date myself here and that's perfectly okay. For those of you who are 80s babies like myself, I don't know if you ever remember seeing the movie Baby Boom. Did you, any of you ever see the movie Baby Boom? It was about a New York executive woman who all of a sudden has, I think it's her great nephew or something, um, is told to come pick up a, a package at the airport. And she is literally the, you know, she's a career woman, right? And she literally is, she um, signs this piece of paper and the woman hands her a baby. And she's like, whoa, 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 the, the, wh where's this package? And she's like, well, that is the package and it's been signed over to you. So it, it, it's basically a story about this woman who is a career for, uh, oriented woman who all of a sudden has this baby dropped in her lap and how her life changes around and how her priorities in life change around and she ends up moving to vermont the state of vermont in the fall time and um meets a cute vet doctor all the things vermont makes me think of the show wings i haven't seen the show wings i haven't seen the movie you're talking about you have to see it erin oh my gosh you know what erin you and i should have like a viewing party we should have a, like a facebook uh, messenger viewing party and watch baby boom because it's the cutest movie ever it's cute it's old but it's so good and it's made me want to go to vermont in the fall time i think i can sympathize with the woman in in the movie it's just yeah so we'll talk more about it but that's what it makes me think of it makes me think of i want to be at vermont in the fall and if autumn road trip sounds like that that's what it makes me think of it just evokes that in me and this is something that something's going to trigger your scent memory in your brain um it, it just well so like i said if you are anybody like me you like the tree -y sense the tree-ish sense um the next one is called just for you just fur like f-i-r like the type of tree and that one is considered wild blackberry offers its one-of-a-kind sweetness to a forest of fir balsam and pine needles when they say just for you they're like it's just for you amanda <laughs> so if you like everything to do with pine trees evergreen like all that like mm, okay just for you it for me it evokes going out on a crisp manitoba morning of like minus flipping 40 degrees and taking that one moment to like inhale nature and then like back in the door you go that's what it makes me think of that's what it evokes for me um then we have our other two last ones here so best in snow okay best in snow best in show it's called best in snow okay frosted evergreen hello jill uh frosted evergreen cool mint and a breath of pure icy air posed together in a prize-winning winter snapshot mm, that just doesn't that sound delicious it's just like, like I said, it, it reminds you of a crisp Manitoba prairie morning. It makes you think of like air that like almost it hurts to breathe type cold. Uh, but it's, it's just so, sm it smells so good. <laughs> so that's called best in snow. It makes me think of kind of like a winter fresh gum, if that makes me sense. I don't know, but that sounds so yummy. And the last one here for the new releases is called Slay All Day. Like Slay, like on Dasher, on Dance, on Prance, on Big Thin. <laughs> I wish I had one of those cute little, like, um, oh, what was it? They did a play on the movie um, Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, they had something like the Queen, and she had, like, one of those gorgeous, like, winter capes, you know, with the, like, fuzzies all around you guys know what i'm talking about right i think you, you kind of get the vision that's what it makes me think of um slay all day in like a blanket across your lap like who am i kidding i haven't done some of these things but that's what it makes me envision um so slay all day is considered snow kissed mint and juniper i love juniper uh keep their cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air so it just makes me think of like i don't know it makes me think of like just cozying up with your family um, on a sleigh with hot chocolate, freezing your butt to death, but having the most magical day of your world. Most magical day. So that's what it makes me think of. So those are all the new releases that just released today. Like I said, there's so much more to the catalog um, than these scents. So much more to the catalog than these scents. Um, so that's good to know. Uh, but that's what I wanted to share with you today, okay? So it also, um, like I said, there's also going to be other scents that are available too. Um, so some of your favorite holiday scents are going to be in there as well. 
Um, so if you are a fan, if you are a holiday scent person and you love the stuff, you know, a lot of the favorites have returned. So a lot of your favorites, like Very Merry Cranberry, Silver Bells, uh, Very Snowy Spruce, Winterberry Apple Tea are available. Um, Perfect Peppermint, Cranberry Garland, that one's so yummy. Um, Christmas Cottage, Be Merry, all of those amazingness are back as well. I don't want to spoil it all because we have, I have a whole month. Um, Erin, that's a good question. I don't believe so, but let me see here. Let me see. I don't believe so, but let me double check. <clears throat> um, good question. Good question. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Let me consult my website over here. <laughs> uh, I don't believe you can right now. You want, Aaron, let me look into it. I will ask all the appropriate people because I know that for certain, um, that's, I will let you know. I will let you know. Let's see here. Ooh, we might have something going here. We might have something going. Let me check. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. So Aaron, here is your question or here's your question. Here's your answer. I'll take, I'll take the answer for 500, please, Alex. <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it, dude. <laughs> Who knows what that shows from? Anyway, so Erin, you were asking about bricks. So bricks regularly are usually like a one time a year type of thing. Okay. I hope you're listening, girl. I hope your ears, I hope your listening ears are open. How many times do we say that as a mom, hey, or as a parent? So what I will tell you is if you become part, uh, so as if you are just regularly shopping that website, um, unless it's usually like November, usually when they do bricks, then no. However, um, if you decide to put some of your favorite scents and set them up kind of like as a reoccurring shipment, um, as part of Scentsy Club, then yes. So if you sign up for Scentsy Club and you have it, your, your bars and stuff set to you, um, on, um, a regular basis, like every, I think every either bi-weekly, monthly, or quarterly, um, then you can snag yourself bricks. So I highly suggest that you get yourself on Scentsy Club. Um, and then I can show you all the magicalness because there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if you are like Aaron and you love Scentsy Bricks, okay, because Scentsy Bricks are literally, they are as big as my head. No word of a lie. If you want a picture of what a Scentsy Brick looks like, I believe I do have one. They're roughly as if you were to take five and a half of these bars and make them into a super mega brick. No word of a lie. No word of a lie. So like I said, there's 12 different ones to um, snag um, that are all full of deliciousness. Okay. And, uh, Erin, I will say your baked apple pie is available in a Scentsy Brick, but only as part of Scentsy Club. So if you're like my friend Erin, who loves big bricks and she cannot lie, then you're going to want to become part of Scentsy Club. Even if it's just putting like one bar on there that you want on a frequent basis, then you can totally snag it. But Erin, I will send you that info. So, um, if anybody wants to know how you can snag Scentsy Bricks, like I said, they are not part of the regular lineup. However, if you're part of Scentsy Club, that is the perk of being part of Scentsy Club. Um, Scentsy Club is free to join. All it, all it requires technically though, is that you set up, um, a reoccurring order, um, of any size. <clears throat> I believe it's of any size. Let me, one moment please. I want to make sure. Um, so, um, just a quick thing about Scentsy Club, Kay, you sign up and pick your products that you want. You get to choose how often you want. Um, you get to choose them, Kay. It's great because it is a monthly subscription service and it lets you basically schedule regular shipments of the things you love most that you run out of quicker, um, so that you always have your favorites on hand. And the best part of that is that you never have to worry about, oh, crud, did I remember to order my barum out? Okay, it kind of helps eliminate that. So you love big bricks and I cannot lie. I know, me too. So anyways, that's what I want to share with you um, really quickly. But if those of you that are like, girl, I want to know what bricks are available if I'm part of Scentsy Club, I will give you the lowdown, okay? So the bricks that are available um, only when you are part of Scentsy Club is baked apple pie in a Scentsy brick, black raspberry vanilla in a Scentsy brick, 
blueberry cheesecake, uh, clean breeze, coconut lemongrass, Luna Scentsy Brick, perfectly pomegranate, skinny dippin', sugar cookie, sim, sun kissed citrus, vanilla bean, and welcome home. So it has a little bit of everything from, from kind of like your sweet to, um, to everything you can think of. So anyways, I hope that helped you out. I hope you loved that, Erin. We will talk about your Scentsy Soiree. Um, I don't know why I can't close my catalog. <laughs> Not enough coffee. <laughs> so anyways, have a great and amazing, amazing day. Go out. Make the world shine a little bit. I know it's a little glum outside, at least where I am. But um, go check it out. Go check it out. If anything, just go browse the site and see what, what calls to you. Erin, I know you need a light bulb. So just saying. Um, so yeah. So go enjoy your day. Go make the most of today. We're officially around 12.15 here. Um, so anyways, I hope that sounds good, girl. Sounds good, girl. <laughs> anyways, go enjoy your day. Go make some memories. It is the August long weekend. So practice all the safety procedures, um, that are, that are in place this weekend and, uh, go have fun, go make some memories and, uh, let's talk about what memories scent evokes for you. All right. Much love. Like I said, my name is Amanda Pope. And uh, my site is down below if you even just want to browse or window shop or make a wish list, do you name it. And uh, we will catch you. We'll catch you, you and me. We're going to catch each other tomorrow, all right? All right, much love. Mwah. Bye.